Hey guys, what's up? It's Caitlin here. I'm chilling today. I hope that's cool. It's rainy out. You know, there are days where I'm like energy and then there's days where I'm like, I'm vibing. And I hope it's okay that I'm vibing today because it's happening. So today I will be reacting to Dua Lipa's future nostalgia album. Yes, this is late. I am sorry. I had to work on Friday when the album was out and then yesterday there were a bunch of construction workers at my house and I couldn't really film while there was a lot of construction going on. Also, I woke up with the worst headache ever. It was a great day, guys. It was so much fun. Now we're here on Sunday and here I go. I'm gonna listen to this album because I hear that it's incredible. I hear that it's an incredible album and like the reviews are amazing. So I was like, why not? Let's do it. Also, a bunch of you asked me to do it, so here we are. If you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel, it'd mean the world to me if you could hit subscribe down below right now. If you want to, you don't have to, but it'd be cool if you did. So guys, let's check out Future Nostalgia, Dua's new album. I have already heard a solid three songs, which are Future Nostalgia, Don't Start Now, and Physical. I have not heard Break My Heart yet. I know that came out a few days before the album, but I haven't heard it yet, so I'll be listening to that for the first time today. Let's start out with future nostalgia. I think that song is so much fun and I think it's the perfect album opener. It just has like a perfect energy for opening an album. And I love the title Future Nostalgia. I didn't really think about it before, but now I'm actually thinking about it. And you know, nostalgia has to do with your past and it's called Future Nostalgia. It's a very cool, what's that called? Not contrast, um, oxymoron? No, yes? I don't know what I'm trying to say, Never mind. The next song on the album is Don't Start Now and like, <laughs> we love this one. Okay, yay, the next song we don't know. The next song is called Cool, which makes me think of the Jonas Brothers. Did they have a song called Cool? Da, 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 da. Yeah, they did. Here's Cool. Oh my God, a new song. A new song, I'm so excited. I wonder if there's any sad songs on here. Probably not this one. This one sounds cool. <laughs> no. Oh, I love the sound already. I love it. Wait. <laughs> Please tell me that's the next single because that song needs to be on the radio and like playing all summer long. That song is incredible. You guys, it might be my favorite. I don't know. Don't Start Now is good, but like that song just makes you feel so happy because Don't Start Now is like a lot of attitude. Like, yeah, like I'm better than you, but cool is like I'm in love with you. And it just <laughs> made me feel things. It's fine. Woo. Okay. So next is physical. We know this one. We love this one. Let's go. And then we're back to like this like dark, like intense vibe. Oh. Now I'm picturing the music video for this song, which is so cool. Here we go. Quality song. From here on out, I don't know any of these songs. I'm so excited. After hearing Cool, like, I'm not prepared for what is about to come. Let's listen to Levitating. Okay. Oh no, it's so catchy. Oh, I like that. I like that lyric. I want you, baby. Okay, so that one's definitely very catchy and I love the sci-fi kind of lyrics to it, the space and whatnot. Okay, so the next song on the album, guys, is called Pretty Please. Yeah. Oh, look, there goes her vocal. So I don't know if this is gonna make sense when I say it, but I feel like both the 
like beat and the lyrics of that song work really well together in that in the verses it's like this kind of fast paced a little bit of like what is it not jolty there's kind of a jolt to the verses and then the chorus is much more like smooth and it's like she's going from being stressed out to relax which is what she's singing about like she's like I'm stressed out now you're here and everything's fine I don't know if that makes any sense what I'm saying but it that's how it works in my head and I really like that song because I feel like it's very I don't know it's very chill I can see myself just like listening to that sitting in the dark with headphones and just being like vibing oh I'm weird so like never mind you know what let's just listen to the next one the next song on the album is called hallucinate so here we go oh my god more sci-fi sounding stuff I need a music video to this wait oh I love that okay That's another solid song that has a very sci-fi 80s kind of sound to it, which is working. It's just like, you know how some albums, you listen to them in whole and you're just like, that song doesn't make sense or that song doesn't make sense. With this album, all of these songs are working so well together and it's... Oh, now I understand why you guys are freaking out about this album. It's so good. All right, next song is Love Again. Oh, no. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do what you do it. What is happening? I can't get over it. Why does this song for like I'm telling you guys? the weirdest things pop into my head when I hear music sometimes. When I'm listening to this song, I'm picturing some kind of medieval video game. I don't know why, but that's what's happening. There's a medieval video game being played in my head. That's the music video for this song. I don't know. Oh my god, I love this song. That is one of my favorites by far. I think that and Cool and Don't Start Now are my favorites, also physical. I like this album a lot, okay? The next song on this album is Break My Heart, which is the one that came out a few days before the actual album did. Let's hear it. Ooh. Am I falling in love with the one who could break my heart? Okay. All right, guys, there's two songs left. The next one's called Good in Bed, so <laughs> here we go. Oh my God, this. I love it already. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love this song so much. I love this chorus. <laughs> Okay, okay, hold on. Love the chorus. I just think it's such a fun song and I absolutely love it. And it's definitely top three for me. All right guys, we have made it to the final song on the album and it's called Boys Will Be Boys. 
I feel like we have a girl power anthem coming up right here, right now. I can feel it. It's like a nature to walk home before the sun goes down. And put your keys between your knuckles and there's boys around. We smile our way to ease the tension so it don't go south. But there's nothing funny now. Oh my god, she went there. Do she that okay, that was the best way to end the album. That was the perfect final song. Do okay, alright, I get it. Like I get it. I understand why this album is rated so high because it is so good. Favorites on the album, guys, so far. I mean, once you listen to an album multiple times, then things change. But so far, favorite songs on the album. Don't start now. Cool. Physical, Love Again, Good in Bed, and Boys Will Be Boys. Those are my favorites right now. Let me know in the comments what your favorite song on the album is because I love hearing what other people love. Um, do you guys love that final track as much as me? Because I'm obsessed with it, oh my god. Um, thank you guys so much for listening to this album with me today. I've had a lot of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and follow my second channel if you want to. That's down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!